Hi, welcome back to Bloomington Tutors. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some simpler functions in Excel, such as sum, count, and average, max, min, and then a few harder problems that incorporate those simpler formulas. So if you're using this as review right before an exam, you're going to be able to definitely work through those harder questions, and they're really good practice. Again, we're working with our Dunder Mifflin database where each employee has bought lunch. Now they've spent a certain dollar amount on a certain food choice, and we want to get that information based on it. So your employer asked you, what was the total spent on lunch? Anytime you're asked for like a total dollar amount, a total quantity, anything like that, it's going to be a sum, okay? So equals sum, very simple formula. You're going to go get your range. Now we have quite a few rows in this data table, so we're going to command shift down, get that um, little shortcut there instead of um, having to select the entire range, and then enter. Okay, so $930.51 was spent on lunch. Okay, now he wants to know how many times did somebody buy lunch? We don't want to know how much they spent on lunch. We want to know how many times did somebody go out of their way to buy lunch. Now, there are two formulas you can use here, count and count a. They both do the exact same things, except you use count when you're counting um, number data and you use count a when you are counting text data, okay? So they want to know how total lunch purchases. So the way that this data is displayed, we could count the employee table, we could count the dollars spent, we can count food choices. But for our purposes, let's count food choices. Now when counting food choices, that is text data that is stored there. Pizza, burger, sandwich, salad, hot dog, that's all text. So you're going to use your count a. Again, it's just selecting your range. So select. Control shift down, close, and there you have it, 113 total lunch purchases. So now they want to know, what was the average amount spent on lunch? Again, this is its own formula, it's just average. They want to know what was spent on lunch. So we're going to go to the dollar spent column, select our range, close it, enter, there you go. The average they spent was $8.23. So now we're going to get into those same exact formulas, except with conditions, okay? So they're the same formulas, but they just have conditions. That's all, the only difference here. So how much was spent on pizza? It's just like the one we did earlier, our total spent on lunch, except there's a criteria, total spent on lunch on pizza. So we're going to do our sum again, but we do have that condition, so it has to be a sum if. Okay, now the first range in a sum if is where your criteria will be found. Okay, don't get that confused with the sum range. It's often confusion, but it's where you're going to find your criteria. Our criteria in this sentence is pizza. So where will you find the word pizza in our database? You won't find it under employee. You won't find it under dollar spent. It's going to be in food choice. Okay, so we're going to go select our food choice range, comma, scroll back up to the top. Okay, our little criteria is pizza. Now this part must be in quotes. So we want pizza. Find the word pizza in that range. Okay, now what do we want to sum? We don't want to sum the word pizza. That doesn't make any sense. We want to sum the total spent. So we'll go to dollar spent and select that range. We close it. We press enter. And there you have it. We spent $76.38 on pizza. Quite a lot of money. Now we want to know what was the average amount spent on a hot dog. Again, this is kind of like our average formula again. It just has a condition. So we'll do our average. In order to signify that there is a condition, it's average if. Okay, now these arguments are the same as the sum if. Our range is where you will find the criteria. Our criteria here is hot dog. So where will you find the word hot dog? Food choice. We'll select our range, comma, what do we want? We want hot dog. And what do we want to average? We don't want to average the word hot dog again. We want to average the amount spent. So dollars spent, select, we'll close our formula, press enter, and the average amount spent on a hot dog was $8.68. Okay? It's quite an expensive hot dog. So now we want to know how many times did someone buy a salad? This is the same thing again, total lunch purchases, except there's a condition. So count if. Now you don't have to do a count uh, if if you're counting text data. You don't have to worry about that. It's just count if. So what's our criteria? Salad. Where is that going to be found? Under food choice. So here's our range. Comma. What do we want? 
We want salad. We want salad. Close it. Enter. They bought salad 10 different times. What was the most spent on lunch? Anytime you're looking for the most of something, it's going to be the max formula. Now, you might remember the max formula as one of the totals in excess, but it's just the exact same thing here. You take the max of a range. Now, we want to know the spent on lunch, so we go to our dollars spent. Enter. $20. That was the most spent on lunch. Okay, so now we're looking for what was the least amount spent on lunch. That's just your min. And again, it's one simple little range. Well, they say nobody gets a free lunch, but it looks like Dwight Schrute managed to do that. And you can see that highlighted in column B in green. Now that is it for the simple sums, counts, sum ifs, count ifs, average, max, and min. I'll be sure to watch a second video about this concept. It gets into those harder questions that people have trouble conceptualizing, especially towards the end of the semester when they're working on a bunch of harder concepts and then they realize that it was probably an easy fix. Um, like I said, that'll be super important towards the end of the semester. Pay a little bit more attention to that video. Again, this has been Bloomington Tutors. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, good luck on your exams.